So how did a 19-year-old German academic scholarship winner survive so many years in prison? Because you would think he's not exactly the prison type. Take a look. Prison is just about as bad as you think it's gonna be. One of the first things I saw in prison is that I watched somebody else get raped. I was very nearly raped myself. I was a small white guy in a prison system that is full of experienced criminals who are a lot bigger than me, so I was like a natural victim. What could I do to protect myself? I talked to two big black guys who were running a small-scale loan sharking operation, which is called running a store box in prison, which basically involves loaning out cigarettes and food. You loan out two items and you get three back. So I told them about checking your customer's creditworthiness. Cartel formation, we should work together and not against each other. The Pareto principle, you make 80% of your profits from 20% of your customers. So let's focus on the best 20% of our customers and not the 80% who are not gonna pay us back. And then the key thing was customer relations. They ran their loan sharking operations, their store box, on the principle that they just threatened people and frightened them. And I told them, that's not the way to run a business. You've got to have good customer relations. Be nice to the guys. And it worked. I had achieved some kind of status in the prison hierarchy. And because these economic and business principles work, we ended up making money together. So it was, it was successful on every level. Well, Jens had a team of people helping him become a free man, including Jason Flom, a music executive best known for working with the Rolling Stones and Katy Perry. Now, Jason also dedicated his life to advocating for people like Jens. Another advocate is Sheriff Chip Harding, who spent over 600 hours on Jens' case trying to prove his innocence. So thank both of you for being here. I really appreciate it. Before we go on, let me let both of you say hello to Jens as a free man. Jens, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Jason, Chip, hi there. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I would still be sitting in prison without you. You're just the best. Thank you. Thank you. At what point in the process did you make up your mind that he, in fact, was innocent? Everything I saw in the news, he confessed to it. His girlfriend said he did it. And I think he said something about they had footprints and blood that belonged to him. So I said, give me everything you've got. And I took it home and over the weekend, spread it out over my dining room table. And I said, oh my gosh. And that's when I got involved in it. And 200 hours later, I wrote a 19 page letter to the governor. And um, I felt like it all tended to support his innocence, not his guilt. Well, you said in your confession that you were there for 45 minutes. Uh, before you killed them, and apparently a lot would have had to happen at 45 minutes because you said that you, you had several drinks with Derek and Nancy, Nancy prepared dinner, then you all ate dinner, and then you killed them. So this had to be like a speed date before the killing because in 45 minutes a lot had to take place if in fact that was the time frame. What you just mentioned is a really key thing. It is clear from the crime scene that the killer spent a lot of time there. And if somebody spends a lot of time, they're gonna leave physical evidence. Um, and there is a lot of physical evidence at the crime scene, but none of it's mine. It wasn't his DNA. His blood was not there. His, his fingerprints were not there. Right. You know, he, it's because he wasn't there. So I think any lay person can look at this and say, it doesn't make any damn sense. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do wanna hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it.